that is going to be it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll be in Toronto with Gymshark on October 13th and 14th, I think it is. So if you're there, what's up? It's Toronto day. Gymshark pop up Sunday, October 14th in Toronto. 950 DuPont Street. Hopefully we can actually get in because we've been seeing some comments and people being very upset That um, the wait was like people were in line for like eight hours. Some girl showed up at 3 30 in the morning I don't I don't know. We also heard that we were supposed to get tickets and I didn't see anything about tickets like on the fence of if we'll even be able to get in so This could be a great vlog and this could be a crappy one that ends with me crying. So we'll see I got my Nikki B merch on. I am so excited. She's come to Toronto a couple times and I've never been able to get it off work. So, hopefully I get to meet her and at least take one picture and then I'll just get out of the way. <laughs> my friends are idiots. Get it, girl. It's so cute. <laughs> Doesn't work. Go get on your time. Sat. <laughs> okay. So we're here. The line is super long. It's fucking long as hell. I don't know if we're gonna make it in. <laughs> you know, trial and error. Mostly error. <laughs> Mostly an error. Well, let's see what happens. We basically have to go in and ask if we can get in without a ticket. And yeah. if they say yes, then we're good. If they say no, thank you, then we have to just no, leave. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Stick your here we come. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. It's just like a building right next to like a furniture store. At least I can take a picture with the flag. <laughs> Say that we came. <laughs> what? We're just we're, I don't think we're gonna make it. I don't think we're getting in. Why? You guys are so optimistic. Eh? Did you ask people if they need tickets? Me. Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, pretty good yourself. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. So at the back of the line here, so I need you guys to give me a few favors. The first rule is this: every joke I joke. It's funny. It's hilarious. We all laugh, okay? I'm the funniest person you guys will ever meet today. The second rule, guys, please maintain your garbage. There is garbage cans closer to the line. If not, give them to a friend. Have a friend run up to the front of the line, throw the garbage can in and come back down, please. I do not want to see garbage. Garbage means somebody yells at me, which means in turn I slow the line down. And then everybody starts getting upset. And I say, well, until the sidewalk's clean, I'm not doing anything. The last thing. If anybody tries to butt the line, don't get into an argue with them, don't get into a fight. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna say, is there any new faces in the line? This is where you guys get to rat them out. I promise you, I will embarrass them and send them to the back of the line. Sorry, can I ask you a question? Yep. So I was, um, I was reading like comments about things on like the post and everything, and there was all this like talk about um, like tickets and things. So, so there was a little glitch with the ticketing system. Okay. If you cannot log in or it's not possible to get through to your tickets, don't worry about it when you go up to the front. If you've registered, they will have your name or we'll just wave you in. Okay. Oh, the most important thing is staying in the line yeah. and being in your spot and doing your time in the line. We're never going to turn you away. Okay. Okay, guys? All right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. I mean, we got to wait like uh, forever. Um, we about to wait three hours. <laughs> can't see them all. <laughs> My conch vibrated. Your conch? <laughs> so. Move your arm, bud. Gym shark, bud. It's their clothes, man. See, we're moving up and no one's paying attention. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. She's filming. I was just filming. 2.37. What time? 2.37 and we are a time lapse of almost three hours yeah but still compared to yesterday's time we actually made it through we like pretty quickly we did good. so we saw two famous people so far yes you look familiar but oh there's big dave hi bye in boys it's literally a cold hair it is it looks cool though
It's right in your face. Why are you looking look in the lens? Look in the lens. editing this video and while I was watching it I realized how loud the music was so I had to put like a song over top of it so you can't really hear what they were saying to us but oh man like I still I can't believe that that day even happened like it's Wednesday so it happened on Sunday three days ago and I'm still like I'm I'm shocked like, I have a signed Nikki Blackadder sweater. Are you kidding me? <laughs> By the time we actually got up on stage, it was almost five o'clock and they were only scheduled till five. So they were trying to like basically rush everybody out that was still waiting, which I totally get. I mean, like I wouldn't want to be standing up there forever either. Like that's just not something I think that they wanted to do. But um, luckily enough for us, like, and I think from what I was seeing in the videos is that they actually got through everyone that was still waiting and when we were up online like you saw there was still like there was still a ton of people that they had to get through so I don't know if they cut them off I don't know if they saw everyone but I am so thankful that I got the chance to actually go up there and say hi to someone that I've been following and I, I told her this too while I was up there I was like listen like I've been following you for four years and I've never had the chance to come and meet you and you've been in Toronto a couple times and I was never able to make it out and she was just like well thank you so much for coming like you got the chance this time and I was like I know Nikki Blackadder herself commented on me saying that whatever I'm doing is working <laughs> like pardon oh my god Nikki and Whitney were both so sweet I have been waiting for ever to meet Nikki. She is the the whole reason I started going to the gym in the first place when me and Jeremy first started dating. I didn't really get into the gym. He was always about going to the gym. Just like, well, like, I don't know if it's for me kind of thing. And then he actually showed me Nikki Blackadder on YouTube. I started watching her videos and I 
literally just copied everything that she did. And she's the entire reason that I knew how to work out and how to lift and what's meant for, you know, certain body types and what areas you want to target. She's just been like my inspiration for literally four years. And I just like, I was so thankful to have like, even just like a couple minutes of her time, like it's just, I'm blown. I'm blown away. When I was talking to Whitney, she was even saying like, I'm sorry you had to wait so long. And I was like, no, 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 it wasn't that bad. And she literally said, you don't have to lie to me. And I was like, no, like this right here is what makes it all worth it. Like as soon as you leave that stage, you forget about how long you stood in line. Like it was just the best day. I wish I had the chance to speak to Nikki more and I know it was like a time crunch, but I just, I had so many questions and I, I had all these things planned in my head of what I was gonna say and you know, like I was gonna try and get like her to do like the butt pose and like in a photo and I don't know, I just, we didn't have the time. But Gymshark did put out a video and they basically said, you know, like, they didn't expect this many people to come in Toronto. So they are going to be coming back and I will absolutely be getting there super early and I will be waiting in line for however long it takes just so I can get, like, that extra couple minutes and actually talk to her and get some advice and, yeah, I think... For the most part, this is exactly what I needed because I haven't been going to the gym. I haven't really, you know, been eating right and I haven't really had the motivation to do anything, really. I've just kind of been in this rut of like, I don't, I don't want to do anything. It's kind of just what my mindset has been. Seeing her and meeting her in person and it's like, this person I've been watching for four years is actually like in front of me. It's just like crazy. I don't, I, I can't even put it into words. There are no words. I don't even know what to say about it. I just wanted to basically say this will never be seen by any of the people that are in the video. But if anyone does ever come across this video, Gymshark, thank you so much for hosting this event. Nikki, you are amazing and I will definitely be coming to see you next time. And I'm just so thankful for the opportunity. So I'm going to close out the video now. I know it's been a long one. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, please give this video a like, of course. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>